You see those rollers at the bottom? You roll your feet, and it's just, oh my god. It's got a pumice stone in the middle, so you can take that heel and scrape it, but you know, it turns loose. You can just scrape your feet, I guess, and you know. But, girl, this thing is the bomb, dot diggity. And, um, I'm gonna enjoy this shit while I'm off as, um, my damn his feet was killing me after working as a tech. So yeah, oh my god, oh shit. I got right next to me now to my TV, my, my TV's right here. I'm gonna curl, watch my program, probably fall asleep. Anyway, I wanted you to see this, cause this, I gotta add one, I'm trying to do 117. I think 117 would just be too much. I'm just gonna keep it at 111. Cause that's just perfect. Oh uh, yeah, shoot. Girl, get you one. Get you one of these. Bye. Hey guys, this is a review for the Masiki temperature controlled spa foot bath. The way it came packaged was just in a box um, with their name on it. It's very lightweight by the way. It had the specifications on the side. Of course it was in English as well as um, European so you knew the voltages. It was just packaged in this little mesh bag thing came in that and of course the cord was wrapped in in bubble wrap so it's, it wasn't packaged fancy or whatever it's not like it needed to be and it came with instructions and a little zip bag along with the um, warning paper that just tells you if you see water spots on it is from their testing so that's about it and in just a second we'll get into how it operates um, to finish up this review. Okay, so we're ready to get started. I put the water in here. Please note that there is a max line which is right here where my water stops and then there's a minimum line which of course means that's the minimum amount of water that you should put in. If you read the directions, you may be a little confused because it mentions it come with it comes with rollers, a pumice stone, um, and two other things. But what they're really talking about is there's a pumice stone embedded in it as well as the rollers. So it's plugged in. I have my bubble bath and some other stuff just so you can see the effects. Um, and we will get started. So you turn it on. It said it was supposed to be set at a max of 95 degrees when you first turn it on but as you can clearly see that's 109 degrees and it says it goes to a max of 119 and you change it by holding it down and each time it increases uh and oddly enough i think you have to keep going yeah okay so you have to keep going to get back down to a lower degree. So if you were at 100 and you really want to be at 98, 
you would just have to keep going. Sorry. Uh, and it has bubble bath feature and red light. Now, the book does not explain if the red light does anything other than it's just um, an aesthetic. But yeah, that's what it says. And it's not gotten to the heating property yet because that light is not lit up. So I'm thinking that like maybe it will eventually. I'm not sure this is my first time trying it. But so far I like it. I mean because these temperature gauge ones can be quite expensive. So I have my bubble bath just to see how that works. Well I guess that's a bath bomb. And that's a bubble bath. So yeah, it works. I just wonder why it isn't heating. Or maybe it is and it's just not lit up. I'm not sure. And the book doesn't mention anything. Oh, so there it is. So I guess the water was already to that temp where I had it at 100 and something. So I guess, you know, there's no purpose in heating it further. So there you go. And that's it. Overall, I mean, I think it's good. This was only like $50, and the ones that I've seen everywhere else were $75 and more for one that's specifically temper gauge. So, I would definitely recommend. Now, I'll update in the future if something changes, like if it burns out quick or if something isn't really working like it's supposed to. But just based off this, I mean, it does what it says, and... It's not even that loud. So I hope this helps someone with their purchase. So I absolutely love this thing. It's so easy to carry, it's portable. So you have bubbles and down there. So you have some nice foot massagers. It's so warm, it heats up really quickly and it's just really soothing and the perfect little foot spa.